Hey, Jimmy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you again. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, well, you know what? We had so much fun with the last project. That little side table we made, yep. metal base, slices of branches on the top, held fun. together with epoxy. Big hit, so we're back for more. Right on. And it looks like you got yourself an idea. We got some channel letters here. What makes a channel letter a channel letter? A channel letter has this side wall around it, which traps the marquee bulb inside so yeah. that the light bounces around inside the shape of the letter. Beautiful. I mean, I see these things all over the place in the craft stores. They're becoming more and more popular. You can buy a fixed word. Like here we have the word bar, you know, so you might put that in your man cave. Yeah. Or you could pick a individual letter, but the fonts are limited. So when you go to a store and you only see these particular fonts, you, you want to do something more specific, something you want to pick a serif face or a sans serif, yeah. you have to make your own. And so this is what you're thinking back here. Look at you. Yep. I found your logo cool. and I didn't print it. In this case, I laser cut it because I don't, <laughs> I don't have a printer. This is going to be our template for your logo. To get started, I'm going to stick these letters to plywood using spray adhesive. Since I already went through the trouble of cutting these letters out on the laser, I'll preserve them and use them just to make a stencil on the wood. And then I can cut these letters out on the bandsaw. That bandsaw, Jimmy, fast and accurate. If you don't have a bandsaw, you could certainly use a jigsaw. I think you know what you're doing with these letters. Yeah, I used to work in sign shops as a kid. Is that right? Yeah. In high school, I, had, I worked at three different sign shops, and I had my own little sign business. Huh. So yeah, I've been on the bandsaw for a long time. It shows. Now we're going to light them up using these lights that I got at a home shop. We have exactly 48 lights. We have 24 in each package, and I'm going to use a circle template. We're going to give us a rough layout so that we can disperse the lights perfectly throughout all the letters. So roughly seven or eight-ish each. Right. Now we'll just go to the drill press and cut the holes. With everything cut, now we can sand all the letters. We're going to do a lot of hand work on them, so we want the wood to be safe to touch. Now on the back, we're going to put these spacers, so when we wrap it with the channel, we have room behind it to hide the wires. So just a little bit of glue on the back side? Yep, that's it. Now we're going to put the edging on the letters, and we're going to use flashing. Mm. Roof flashing that you get at the home center. Just a roll of aluminum, what do you got, four inch? Four inch flashing. Yep. We're going to wrap it around each letter, but we're going to do it in small sections. You're not going to try to go with a continuous piece all the way around? No, that would be too difficult. We'll do the triangle yep. to get started. So everything's going to get used up, so if we end up having more or less, we'll still use it up. So now here I cut enough, I'm going to go around this bend, go there, and then come there and then put a flat piece on the back. Mm -hmm. And I'm using oh, look at this. speed square. So this is kind of essentially your brake. It's just a hand brake, that's it. Brings us up to a million and one uses for the speed square. We're going to hot glue it for now. Later on, we'll go back and put a couple of tacks in it with a nail gun. A little trickier as the curves start to increase. Absolutely. If you notice, I'm trying to land my joins wherever it's flat so mm. it doesn't have that tension to want to go straight again. Right. Okay, so now that we glued everything with the hot glue, just temporary tack, we're going to actually nail it with the nail gun. I got half inch nails in here. We're just going to a couple of nails in key spots. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. 
First, I'm going to prime the insides white. It dries quickly, so I can apply the color immediately after. I'm not worried about getting overspray on the outside of the letters, because later I'm going to flip them over and paint them from the other side. I'm going to flip them over, tape a little bit so the black doesn't go through the holes. All right, on our paint is dry. Looks awesome. Now we install the strips of lights. And obviously we're working from the back. Working from the back. We're starting at the first letter. We want to end up with the plug over there. Okay. All right. Just going to drop these in sequential order, one after the other. We have plenty of room to conceal our extra wire in the back of the letter. I'm going to use hot glue, a dab of hot glue, just to tack them in place, and then we're going to follow up with silicone. The hot glue is to keep us moving along, and the silicone's for long term. These are interior, exterior lights, but this is really going to be just an interior sign. Yep. Okay, I got some half by two inch strapping. We're going to use these to keep the letters together. I'm going to drill through this so we're not struggling with the screw. And then we just got to line them up to hit these uh, little blocks. That's it. We got to hit our spacers that we put in earlier. All right, ready to give it a look? Let's give it a flip up. Flip it up, I'll get the power, plug it in, ready? Oh man, it looks good. Oh, Jimmy, that looks more than good. <laughs> yeah, cool, man. That looks awesome. <laughs> good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Good and teamwork. so the materials, I mean, not much here. Nothing, just some plywood, some flashing, anything you can get at the store. All right, you are a force. This is a great one. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.